This is a video showing off the new X Flasher uh, programmer for the Xbox 360. Uh, this is in development by the Mod Shop. Um, I'll pop his website link down in the description if you want to find out a little bit more information on where you can buy one of these. Uh, this is a pre-production unit. This is a, like a, a basically a final test uh, to just see if the device works and iron out any kinks if there are any on the unit itself. So this is due to replace the Nandex programmer and the JRP V2, which are the current clones coming out of China. Um, I've got a JR programmer right here. Let me quickly show you. So this is a JR programmer. You might be used to seeing this if you're any if you, within the 360 scene. And in terms of size, it's going to be a little bit bigger. Um, it's got the same ports on the side, so it's going to still take a mini USB. Um, the only switch, however, that it does have is this switch up here. You can see it says SPI and EMMC. So what this device will do is not only will it program your normal, um, your normal big, your normal consoles by the normal programmer header, and it will also program glitch chips by the normal same header that you would use on the the JAR programmer and the uh, Nandex. But you've also got a four gigabyte EMMC port. So what this will do is this will get rid of the need for any other external device. This will get rid of the need for a um, one-time use four gig need read write NAND tool. This will get rid of the original SD tool from ModShop. Obviously, if you not wanting to buy something like this, then you, you don't have to. But this is basically going to be the one stop to basically get everything and do every single console full stop. It will do any console, it will do any version of Corona, it will do any version of Trinity, it will do any Jasper, anything, any console that originally worked with the JR programmer or the Nandex, it will work. So I'll show you here, um, this is the cable, um, we can plug this in here, this is just a normal one that comes with the JR programmer, and as you can see, it connects right up, and this is my normal, uh, this is actually my original Nandex cable that I've made up. And as you can see, that just plugs in like normal as well. They're the exact same. We can unplug those two now. So um, obviously with the final the final production unit is going to be black. You're not going to have this green color. This was literally hand assembled by me uh, two days ago. Um, it took me about two and a half hours. Um, but it was, yeah, it was all assembled by hand with just a soldering iron and a little bit of hot air for the, the IC in the middle. Um, but yeah, so the final production units there are going to be black. It's going to have a black silk screen with the white logo on the back, and then obviously a black silk screen up top. Um, there's going to be three resellers, I believe. So there's going to be United States resellers. There's going to be a UK reseller, and there's going to be a Polish reseller, I believe. Um, all of the units will come with all the things you need. So it'll come with a pro. It'll come with a chip programmer cable. It will come with a, um, a JRP programming cable to program the normal 16 to 5, 12 meg consoles. And it will also come with a cable for the 4 gig Coronas. Um, so it, it will come with absolutely everything you need um, to, to basically get going. Um, so I just wanted to do this quick video to show it off. Um, what I can do is if I grab a cable... mini USB cable we can plug this in you can see it's got a blue light here I can put up J runner on my computer Let's see if we can focus just in on that area over there on the screen so as you can see on the screen it says S flash X flash SPI that's for your normal consoles and with a flick of the switch we can get onto the EMMC side of it in JRunner, and that will allow us to program four gig consoles on the fly, all within one tool. So rather than having to have a separate tool to program four gig consoles, and then you've got to have a specific um, a USD card reader for it to work, and sometimes it won't, and it'll read, but it won't write, none of this will happen. None of this will happen. It's literally a straightforward EXE file that you can install on the computer, it to install the drivers so no more faffing around with driver signature enforcement and running it in compatibility mode or, or anything like that it's literally as simple as running an exe plugging it in and it coming up in the new jrunner installation so that's just a 
a quick demonstration of how that works. Um, yeah, so I'll pop a link in the um, I'll pop a link in the description, basically show, telling you where to buy that. It will go back to Mob Shop's YouTube channel, uh, not YouTube channel, yeah, his website. Um, so you can have a look on there. Um, one of the UK distributors, I believe, is going to be Chip Chop Mod. Um, I'm not too sure about the US sellers, as I believe there's a couple of them, and same goes for Polish. But you can have a look at the website in the description, um, and it'll give you some more information during the time. Um, so yeah, I just want to give a quick overview of the over over the chip. Uh, thanks for watching.